Hello, it's Pam, isn't it? Yes. I'm Henry Gibson. I'm the medical doctor. Thank you. Um, I've been asked to examine your t uh, tummy. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Now, I'm just going to ask you to lie down flatter, so I'm going to adjust the bed for the moment. Right. Is that all right? Yep. Okay. Are you all right like that? Yes. Okay, comfortable. Okay, could you possibly put your hands to your side? Now, I'm going to have to expose your tummy for the moment. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, could you take a deep breath in for me? And out. That's fine, okay. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit more. It's okay. That's fine. All right, I'd like to just have a look at your hands, if I may, first, please. That's lovely. And if you would turn your hands over for me. Okay, that's fine. Could you put your hands out for me like that and just bring your wrists up? That's lovely. Okay, that's fine. If you'd like to put your hands to your side again for me, please. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to have a look in your eyes. Could you look up for me, please? That's fine. Okay, and I'm just going to have a little feel in your neck now, all right? Fine, okay. I'm just going to bring this down again. I'm going to have a look at your upper chest and see some, some spider nevi there. Okay. Right, I'm just going to bring this down again. All right. Now, I'm going to have a feel of your... Tell me now. Okay. All right. Now, if I hurt you, just let me know if it's sore. All right. That's okay. I'm going to press lightly. Is that all okay? I'm just going to be a little bit more firm now. Mm -hmm. That's slightly sore Very there. Slightly. Okay. Right, okay. Now I'm going to ask you to breathe in for me. All right, and out. Okay, so if you breathe in. And out. That's fine. And again. Again. Okay, that's fine. And again. All right. Once more. All right, that's fine. And again. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay, I'm just going to tap on your... Stomach now, okay. All right, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to have a, another feel here, okay. If you just roll over slightly towards me, that's fine. That's it. Okay, just breathe in. Okay. And that, that's fine. All right. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Okay, I'm going to just tap on your tummy again. All right. Could you just roll towards me now? Mm -hmm. Just onto your left side. That's it. A little bit more. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. And if you just roll back onto your back again. I'm just going to have to listen to your stomach now. That's fine. And to complete my examination, 
I would like to check the genitalia, look at the observation chart, and do a PR. The positive findings here first are that we can notice palmar erythema. As we look up the chest, onto the chest here we see spider nevae. On palpation of the abdomen, the liver could be felt with a liver edge of about three centimeters, and the spleen could be palpated at around about 10 centimeters, with the notch being clearly felt. Other causes of this patient had hepatosplenomegaly with a smooth, mildly tender liver edge of three centimeters and splenomegaly of approximately eight to ten centimeters below the costal margin. There are other signs of chronic liver disease, including palmar erythema and spider nevae. There were no palpable lymph nodes, nor was there evidence of anemia. The likely diagnosis, therefore, is liver cirrhosis. Other causes of, of hepatosplenomegaly are many. The simplest way of classifying these are that if anemia is present, consider myeloproliferative or lymphoproliferative causes. If lymph nodes are present, consider a chronic lymphatic leukemia or lymphoma. Infection, particularly worldwide, alcohol and autoimmune causes should also be considered. 